Introducing the PSS Cape TS Link module, a tool that helps you perform transient stability simulations from PSSE using highly detailed relay models from PSS Cape. Today, planning and protection departments typically operate in silos using unmatched and unsynchronized network data. Traditionally, the protection system is modeled in PSS Cape using thousands of relays actively maintained by protection engineers, while the planning engineers use the detailed transient stability model in PSSE to study system dynamics and stability. The issue with this traditional way of work is that PSSE uses simplistic protection settings, which may lead to inaccurate conclusions in stability studies. And PSS Cape does not take system dynamics into account. This may result in incorrect protection coordination conclusions, since the effect of protection action over system stability is not included. With the PSS Cape TS Link module, you can break down these barriers and improve grid reliability. It provides a closed loop simulation tool to evaluate system stability and protection settings together. This allows both planning and protection engineers to study the interdependence between system dynamics and relay actions bringing together the best of both worlds. Here's how the PSS Cape TS Link works. After the simulation starts, at each time step, PSSE solves the current network operating condition with its transient stability calculation engine. Then, the positive sequence solution is transferred to PSS Cape. PSS Cape interprets the PSSE solution and feeds it into the highly detailed relay models. The protective relays and the remedial action schemes are evaluated. If there is any protection operation causing breakers to open or close, the corresponding topology changes are transferred to PSSE. PSSE makes the same network changes to ensure the two programs are working on the same system operating condition. Then the simulation will advance by one time step and the same closed loop calculations will be performed. Here's a look at the PSS Cape TS Link in action. We'll simulate a real system separation event in a large utility. The three phase fault caused by a lightning strike is applied one second after the simulation starts. Two generator units have been outaged due to the fault. We see both the frequency and voltage at substation frost start dropping after the disturbance. The system's apparent impedance starts traveling towards the relay characteristics. The impedance is traveling slowly enough that a power swing blocking signal has been initiated. The Zone 2 and Zone 3 distance relays do not operate even after the apparent impedance entered their protection characteristics. About 2.2 seconds after the disturbance, the apparent impedance has exited the relay characteristics, which matches the timeline of the actual event. Several under-frequency relays start operating to shed load following the reduction in generation. This is part of the remedial action scheme, which automatically takes corrective actions to try to recover the network. In the second slip cycle, the apparent impedance is traveling faster than the first slip cycle, as the impedance travels a longer distance between two consecutive time steps. The out-of-step relay determines this is an unstable power swing, and an out-of-step tripping signal is initiated. The out-of-step relay will operate when the impedance exits the inner polygon characteristic, called trip on the way out. PSS Cape strictly follows the manufacturer's relay operation logic and uses actual relay settings. Realistic protection operations are therefore assured. The last remaining 345 kilovolt tie line at substation Frost is tripped on out-of-step. The utility network is now separated from the regional interconnect. This PSS Cape TS Link simulation successfully reproduced a very interesting event. This protection misoperation was only part of a cascade of misoperations that led to the entire network being islanded. Power system operators are particularly concerned about these types of events, and PSS Cape TS Link provides the details necessary to mitigate these misoperations. With this module, you can break down the barriers between transmission planning and protection tools to improve your grid reliability. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.